Yo, so I was recently featured on the Snapchat Discover page talking about how to look after yourself during lockdown and I know what a lot of you are probably thinking like, you know, how the hell did I even get on Snapchat in the first place? Did I ask them or did they approach me? How much they flipping length? No. Yeah, like, no one's asking me that, but um, yeah, let's get straight into the video before I start waffling. Where's my intro, fam? Here it is. What you saying, Zandem Z-Boy here, three is no caps, two eyes, no gaps, and I'm not gonna be that guy to beat around the bush, I'm gonna get straight into it. But if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and uh, yeah. So, a few months ago, I was approached by a production company who collaborate with Snapchat all the time. They wanted me to do an advert about the issues of mental health, because, you know, a lot of people are struggling recently, especially because of lockdown. And I was seen as suitable for the role because, well, I didn't realise, but I actually have got a lot of education-related videos. I mean, I've got a whole playlist called Motivation to Revise on my channel, which has got my GCC Results Day video, A-Level Results Day videos, just bare different advice videos as well. And I didn't really clock, but it's just crazy what your videos can do for you. I mean, these little advice videos have actually, you know, managed to get me to collaborate with Snapchat, so it is kind of Mad. So for the advert, they wanted to film a short scene where I was having a discussion with my boys, and that's when Neil and the Moda got involved. So as soon as I told these lot that I was doing a video for Snapchat, these guys lost their mind, fam. They lost all sense of pride. They started begging and begging and begging, and after months of begging, I was like, you know what? I'll allow you. You can be in it. And uh, yeah, they were just they just begged and begged like it was actually nuts. Yeah, I'm chatting so much. So we filmed that mine with all the corona guidelines and that and I mean I was just gassed to see how it finally turned out because these guys were using some proper, you know, professional expensive cameras. They even had a sound guy. You know shit is professional when they're using a sound guy fam. And when we were filming the director had an iPad and on the iPad it had like screenshots of my face and reasons why I was good for the role and I was thinking like right these man fully did the homework on me. Like when I was younger I could I was struggling to do my own homework and now I've got people doing the homework on me. Mad thing. Also, we filmed some scenes on my road and there was bare school kids trying to walk down but the director told him like, you know, wait a sec, we're filming. And I can't lie, I was gassed. Like, if I was little you and I saw some professional shit going on like, 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 If I was little you and I saw some stuff going on like that on my road, I would've been impressed. Anyways, filming was successful and I can't lie, there were a few funny things that happened when we were filming. Like, for example, when we were in my room, he wanted to film a scene of me playing PlayStation. So, I had to start driving around in GTA but, you know, I had a massive camera behind me and I was thinking, rah, I've got to put my best driving skills on right now and I was I had so much pressure I didn't want to crash into a tree fam and then the scene outside of Demola and Neil bruv the amount of times that took to refilm bruv just imagine me Neil and Demola just, just Neil just think of Neil like bruv that that took so many times to film but all jokes aside the whole purpose of the video is to teach young people and you know how to look after yourself and this year ain't been easy for a lot of people I mean some people have lost their jobs some people are still paying £9,000 to go university when they're only going in once a fortnight and they don't even like the course and it's just the worst thing ever it's, it's me I'm talking about myself I hate Boris I hate everything I hate the UK but anyways, on a G thing, if you actually are ever feeling down, just know you can, you know, speak to someone you trust, family, friends, even me sometimes. Listen, I'm not I'm not famous or anything here. You can message me. I reply like 99% of the time, so you know, there's always someone that will listen. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen a Snapchat advert yet, I'll put it at the end, just for those of you who haven't seen it. And um yeah, make sure you like the video, comment when you think you want to comment or whatever. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and uh yeah, see you guys next video in a bit. If you finally stop feeling down or lost in your own thoughts, give someone a call. <laughs> Talk to people you trust, it's all part of your own self care. Wait till Zandem Z-Boy here, three years, no caps, two eyes, no gaps. I've had my YouTube channel since the start of high school, but I only really started getting into it after year 11. It is A-Level results day tomorrow. That's right. My passion for making videos really helps me. It's important for your mental health to be having an interest or a hobby. Literally something that can take your mind off all your anxieties and your worries. So how do you look after your mental health? Well, I think the best thing to do is to like eat right, stay healthy. I feel like a healthy lifestyle is good for your mental state. Yeah, and another thing is when you have too much screen time like throughout yeah. the day or throughout the week. It's not the best thing for you. It literally can physically affect your sleep. Usually, you know, teachers and parents, they nag you about screen time, but genuinely, screen time just makes your mind all overwhelmed. Literally, if you've got an untidy room, it's like having an untidy mind, and when you've got an untidy mind, you can't function properly. And it wouldn't, it's not going to affect you. It's not going to help your mental health at all, yeah. And it's important to check in on your, yourself as well because like, when you're anxious and like things aren't going so great, sometimes you make up thoughts that aren't even real. Like you begin to over-exaggerate things. To talk to people you trust, family and friends about what's going on in your mind because once you actually do that, you realise you do start to feel a lot better, do you know what I mean? You feel like there's a weight that's been lifted off your shoulders. Talk to people you trust, it's all part of your own self-care. If you find yourself feeling down or lost in your own thoughts, 
give someone a call. Go for that run, take up that hobby and put down that phone man. And it always helps to look out for other people as well. If you see someone acting different or speaking strange online, make sure you reach out to them. You don't know what they're going through. Look out for people and be kind.